cum blast. Cum blast. Uh, Why'd you struggle to say cum blast? Cum blast. All right. Hello, buddies. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome what? back to Spirit Studios. We're playing more 40K. Yeah. yeah. There's also three of us for some reason. Yeah, I spawned in. We, we found this dude in the fucking side of the street outside of a 7-Eleven. No, I was in the, the dumpster. No, we, we found him in the Taco Bell uh, because apparently he was the guy who had the magic toilet paper. I fuck it. Okay. Well, yeah. Are we are we really starting off with that story? Yeah, yep. absolutely. God damn it. So we just got done eating basically lunch. Yep. And we go to our local Taco Bell. Mind you, I fucking hate Taco Bell. And I only get like two things. So I get the two things. I'm like, man, all right, I'm going to order this new thing uh, that I never had before, but it looks absolutely visceral every time I fucking eat it. Uh, or every that would be the grilled it. cheese burrito. <laughs> it's not grilled, though. It's like, it's not it grilled It is cheese. grilled. It's just not grilled cheese. Then why do they call it grilled cheese? Because the cheese is grilled, That's but it's not, not a grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. <laughs> because they put cheese on it, and then they slamp down the freaking thing to grill the cheese. Well, it's wet, it's visceral, it's disgusting. Anyhow, so before I ate that... Uh, diabolical thing of shit um i went to go take a shit in the taco bell's bathroom and i sit down do my business and i look over and there are napkins on top of the toilet paper dispenser how do i how do i melee kill again uh, uh oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, i want to say it's it's b it's b i just remembered okay. um after after I realized that, I text the group chat, go, guys, I need help, please, I have no toilet paper. And I realized, oh, shit, they're probably deep in conversation, so I called Devin. <laughs> I'm like, what's up, buddy? I need help. <laughs> like, what do you mean? There is no toilet paper, please either get me and toilet paper that's or when, That's when Marcus looks at his phone, and he busts out laughing. So... Then <laughs> yeah, because you just called him, and I'm like, what, what's, what's the matter? And you just, you're walking away going, I don't know, I could maybe grab some napkins. Yeah, he's just, like, he motherfucker, just <laughs> ask them for more toilet paper. <laughs> so I I asked him, yo, there ain't my buddy in the bathroom, there ain't no TP in there. He's like, they're like, oh, we're sorry. He's like, oh, you good, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I just roll the toilet paper to him. He's like, here you go, bud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh. If anyone needs an amp or speaker, <laughs> it's no. <for> free. <laughs> Just come by this address, this address, this address. <laughs> We're gonna dox you, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's the problem with that. I'm editing. You can't dox me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> The whole episode, we just start yelling your address. <laughs> so then there's it's no episode. Exactly. That's They're going to watch Quiet Space <laughs> Marines <laughs> gameplay. It's when oh. we take the footage from USB drives. <laughs> it's our normal channel, oh, but shit. it's just no commentary. There you go, buddy. Remember, stun them, and then hit the B. Oh, that's right. Yum! Yeah, in, in, immunity frames. Oh, wait, it's not really immunity frames. Yeah, it, yeah it's iframes. Because when you're doing the animation, so like you still have a chance of dying, but it's like weakened. I think by like half. I think so. Uh, how do I do? How do I? I I forgot how to do this last time too. How do I activate my shit? Uh, both analog sticks press down. Nope, you don't uh, have any rage meter. Uh, I do have rage meter. It's full. Press uh, R. I want a raw. R three and L three. Nope, doesn't work. Maybe I want a raw. Maybe you're doing something wrong. Bumpers. Nope. <laughs> Throws grenade. Oh, no. oh, there we go. Okay, I told you okay. I wasn't ready. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Raw. There we go. Die. <laughs> this poor old <laughs> oh, <laughs> It's okay. He'll be fine. Uh, shoot the barrel. Red barrel. Yeah, red barrel. Red barrel. Shoot the barrel. Red barrel. Red barrel. Oh. oh, you got, got it. dead. <laughs> you have got it. You have this sniper right. Got, I got it. Got it. You got this. You got this? It. Yeah. This? Yeah. This? Yeah. You got, you got oh. Goddamn yeah. more. Yeah, oh. yeah, we oh. want... Wait, hey, look, he's... Oh! <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, I, I knew you had it. Yeah, yeah. I, I was just looking at him, you know? He had a cool little goggle on or something. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah. He's just a silly little guy. Oh, he looks way cooler with his brain splattering all over everywhere. Oh, I remember now. Does he? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Red's the best color. Oh, no. Green's the best color you get. Oh, okay. Green. I mean, they are green, so that, that makes sense. Green's the best color. Followed by red. Then red. Then yellow. Red yellow makes things darker. Yeah. What red makes blue? things faster. Blue's the smartest color. Yeah. Right. And purple's the stealthiest color. You I know like why? Why? You ever seen a purple orc? 
No. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> shit, you're right. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. That must have been a, a blue orc that said that. It was. Yeah. Actually, canonically, it was a orc. <laughs> or blue. It was a blue orc who said that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, like, it is, it's funny because they have what is called the thinking caps. And thinking caps are hats they wear that make them think. <laughs> have you ever gotten a, have you ever gotten the chance to change your melee weapon? Yes, he yeah. started off with a knife and then he got a chain sword. He hasn't got yeah. the thunder hammer yet. Oh god, I can't wait to hammer. I love hammer. Get get those grunts. Get them. Get back here. You have gun. You Where the fuck gun. you think you're going? See, what's the point of using gun when like the fucking melee in this oh, game is so new. damn cool? You right. See? Wow. <laughs> oh, look, there, there's a new thing in it. Thank now you. I know how Anakin felt. Oh. At what part, Marcus? <laughs> Man, it's hot in here. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> marksman like, mode. Oh, it's an upgrade to your. Uh, it's a new version of your um, fury. So basically, when you're in marksman mode, you can just shoot down at slower effects. Think like bullet time from uh, Max Payne, or kind of like Michael's ability in GTA Five. Yeah, never gonna use that. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's, uh, it's I mean, good it's, for the sniper. I mean, it's yeah, any, it's, I've got rage, so you know. It's pretty much any time when you. Uh, it's pr I think it just adds on to your rage, though. It's like any time you uh, aim. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't hear you over... Yes. So, here's a good question. Yeah, what's up? Speaking of GTA, are we going to play GTA 6 for the channel when it comes out? I mean, we could. I've actually never played any of the GTA campaigns. What? That's crazy. Yeah, I always just fuck around, and or when 5 came out, I just played a lot of online. Like, a lot. The 5? Oh, that's crazy. 5 has a, a, such a good story. So I've heard, but I've never touched it. I feel like I feel like we need to play one of the GTAs for the campaign, at least one. Uh, GTA... Not for the campaign, but for the channel. Yeah, I'm oh. down. Which way do I go? Do I go this way? What am I supposed to do? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. You're supposed to stop the orcs from getting... You're getting shot at. Getting your giant, direction uh, who's sh who's shooting me? Right there on the top. That's your ally. <laughs> well, he looked at me funny, so... Ow. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. They're they're moving. Too <laughs> Stop moving. Man, this last you and fish in a barrel. But by a barrel, I mean a fucking swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck is that from? I just made that up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you got this. You got it. Man. Oh God, they're oh, all God, right by you. <laughs> nice. Still getting shot at though. Yeah. Go sickle mode. Go sickle mode. I don't need it yet. <laughs> Fucking missed that one by a point. <laughs> I, I was just, hey, you know, making sure he's really you know scared. <laughs> Make sure he knows you have a gun. Mark, yeah. did you know the enemies are sighted? <laughs> Ra. Wow, that saved you. You had a fucking centimeter of health. Oh, uh -huh. my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you blew up. I know, what blew me oh, up? my God. You I see how there's five of them there? Yep. Oh, those things The little blew me blowy up. bass guys. Yeah. They just lashed onto my cock and exploded it. Yeah, they went. <laughs> and boom. <laughs> yeah. My mind immediately went towards the fucking Fallout show. Hey, you want to make my cock explode? <laughs> I mean, have sex. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. remember that. <laughs> it's, yes. when they, it's when they're in the vault. It's uh. Wait, I don't no. remember him saying that though. I just remember <laughs> like <laughs> he was in bathrobes. Just like, hey, the food looks great, right? You want to make my cock explode now? <laughs> Sorry, you want to have sex? <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> Max Riz, like the most like maximum that you could flirt. Yeah. yeah, it was like the first time when she asked him like, "Yo, you want to have sex?" Just because they're bored. And it was like, what? Yeah. I'll, I do remember him talking about penises exploding or something. <laughs> like penis explode. <laughs> Sex is crazy. Right? Grenade launchers are going to be good for this part because of all the exploding gets. Because then you can double explode. Weird, um... So why are they not showing up? Am I just waiting? Yeah, no, yeah you're just waiting because they're, they're all spawning. Oh, okay. Cool. Fuck you. Yeah, see? So you killed one. And then it's going to be a fucking family gathering. See? Top left. I'm so glad that they chose orcs as like one of the main enemies because like any I feel like any other enemy would be like hard to portray in a game like this. I don't think the Necrons would be that hard. What do you mean? Yeah, but Necrons are so armored and stuff, and like if you've watched any of the shows on the Warhammer uh, streaming channel, they're hard to kill because they're just robots. Oh uh, yeah, you're right actually. God, I love when it shakes so much so I can't shoot anything. Correct. Yes. 
be careful. Those things might be around. Space Marines 2 looks so promising because like it looks like you could focus on a pure melee build, which is what it seems like this game wanted you to do. At times. Yeah. Oh, there they come. Oh. Yep. There, the red oh. there you go. Yeah. I think there's another one. No, there, he, there was three in a conga line, so it had a... Tequila. Ow. There's another one. Ow. Yep. No, this Ross. Get the boss. Also, happy Warhammer month. It's not officially Warhammer month, but basically on the channel it is. Yes. Uh, by the time this episode comes out, I believe either Space Marines 2 will be released or so we're going to start be released. Yeah, we're going to start putting these out uh, next week for us, leading up to Space Marines 2 dropping. And there's going to be a lot of Space Marines 2 content when it drops because you better believe we're all going to be playing that. Yes. We'll be playing the campaign together, and then we'll be playing the multiplayer separately. Oh, yeah, because like. everyone's going to be playing uh, the multiplayer. Ryan, Michael, you guys. Basically all the buddies. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. We're going to try to get Carlos to play it. Yeah, and I know Carlos knows, like, near nothing about 40K, but I always know it's been an interest of him because he likes Gears, and it's very similar concepts. Yeah, there's a lot of overlap where I really hope he'll like this game. Oh, 100%. Did you fucking stop? <laughs> They're right he just, there. Egg, egg, egg. You know what, here, the, he's not even doing that much damage. He's just pissing me off. <laughs> they're, they're just the ones that build shit, so... Grot? I think so. Uh, well, uh, I guess no. Yeah, he's building his grave, because he keeps pissing me off. In the 40K universe, Grots are kind of like a... They're like an everyman. They kind of do a little bit of everything. Uh, they're, they're like cannon fodder, like in this mission. So they're, like um, they're like pets. They're like, yeah, yeah, basically. Because like boys are kind of like space marines. Okay. And like grots are very much like humans. Not Cadians, but humans. Gotcha. I love how fucking heavy my footsteps are. I'm just like. It's always funny because the anatomy of a space marine is never accurate. Well, what do you mean? Were, every, you every fucking, like, you look at these guys like, oh, God, these guys are very well proportioned. But then you actually look at an actual Space Marine's, like, anatomy, and they have oh the God. smallest arms with big-ass fucking pauldrons that make it harder for them to rotate. Oh, you're still in the it just, It's just, like, big clunky armor that's overlapping with each other. Uh, but it, it, it bulletproof. It do be, it be more than bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> these guys can take fucking LAS gun bullets. Oh, that's cool. I thought, you were, I thought you guys were at some other part. God, I want bulletproof armor. It sounds like so much fun. It's so expensive. I want bulletproof armor and then get shot at and it not hurt. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, well, okay. There's a difference between bulletproof and bullet resistance. Right now, we have bullet resistant armor. Yeah, I want bulletproof armor. But if you had this armor. shit, dog, that would hurt. You feel like you'd be punched <laughs> by Mike Tyson with the balls they're throwing. Yeah, well, Maybe we could use our regular baby bullets in comparison and just feel like a god. You know, that's fair. That'd be so cool. I mean, bro, don't even do that. Just do what I'm doing right now. I'm shooting myself in the foot <laughs> with different lower caliber bullets to build a resistance. Because <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh, yeah. that's. I think that's how that works. I worked up to 9mm, and I'm only resistant to 22 caliber in my left foot only. <laughs> <laughs> huh? huh? Yeah. Excuse me? What? By resistance, I mean I have a fake foot now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're probably... It's made of metal. Yeah, it's, it's a legit a metal foot. Oh... Uh. It, are the so? I didn't think the Necrons were that hard to kill because when I started that short story, they killed the Space Marines. Killed some of them. So like, it's weird because like some of them are hard to kill and some are not. Um, there, I will say about 40k, there is somewhat of an inconsistency because some bits of lore take from like the tabletop game, and some take part to tell a good story. Um, the basic Necron Warriors, they're relatively easy to kill for the most part, but because their bodies are made out of fucking, like, metal, and that they have the ability to resurrect their troops... Yeah, I remember they're kind that. Of, they're kind of hard to put down, but Space Marines' weapons, remember how I told you, imagine getting shot in the face with, like, a 12-ounce Red Bull can. That's what they're shooting the robot Terminators with, basically. Right. I think you have uh, enough ammo. I, I, no, I need more. No, you have I enough. Need more. No. More. Take of your teammates. More. More! So oh. much ammo. Oh, wait, are they take. Uh, oh, I think that ammo was just for the grenade launcher that was already full. Oh. Oh, they mentioned Gilman. Perfect. Well, what the got, fuck is that? They is got that a train? train? We got the train, boys! It's not called the train, it's called a train. The train. Oh. Caesar run over girlfriend. I love <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Bring the ram. <laughs> dodge. The ram? Is it jo is it dodge month? <laughs> dodge. Yeah, <laughs> it's dodge. Why didn't you buy a dodge? Mr. Piccolo! Dodge! Taco Bell! Taco Bell! That literally you when we went to Taco Bell. Taco Bell! Brother, you... Can you explain why you just know everybody, by the way? We walked in Taco Bell, and a guy literally just yells your name Lenny. and gives you free cinnamon cum balls. Yeah. Listen, uh, once you work at Walmart, you pretty much, and then when you work there for a while, then you know them. That's true. I feel like everyone has either starts at like McDonald's or Walmart at one point in their life or something adjacent to that. Yeah. Look at that guy. He's coming to you. Oh. Marcus, what was your first job? I don't think I know what your first job was. Um, yeah, it was it was just the total wine. Really? That was your first job? Yeah. Well, because for the longest time before that, I was just working for my dad because um, he had his own company. So I was essentially his like secretary and I do uh, medical billing and stuff. Nice. Um, yeah, a little bit of everything. A lot of filing, secretary work, so. Okay. Uh, I got familiar with the state program, knew how to do a lot of the shit. Because cool. a lot of the people who worked in the program did not understand how it worked. So I was like, okay, here's how you plug in all of the information and create new documents and blah, blah, boring shit. File all of your information to get paid. So you're basically just a bureaucrat. Yeah. You just did bureaucratic paperwork. Yeah, pretty much. It's a lot of data entry and uh, billing. This is what it's called. Hmm. So, yeah, what? it wasn't exciting, but I mean, it was. It did it pay good at least? Um, well, you would, uh, you're working for family, so you know. You're basically. No. Just, <laughs> you're doing it for free. Yeah. That's fair. That wasn't your first job at Walmart, like where you're at now? Or no, did you my, have first, my first job was at Lowe's. That's right. You had the Lowe's era. Yeah, I was like, you insane. were so depressed. It was depressing <laughs> because I was a fucking cashier and it was boring as hell. I, oh god, being cashier sucks, dude. Like they, god, you're telling me. I literally told him like every like 20 minutes. I'm like, can I like go do something, something else? I literally like, they're like, no, you gotta stay here. I'm like, I don't want to. I don't like being in one place for too long. And the thing that's annoying is like, if they don't give you like little tasks to do, because like at Publix we. Um, uh, when you're a cashier, we give you like little tasks to do in the meantime between customers, but we're always so busy that you never have like that downtime. Yeah. But it's like when places like Lowe's, when you're a cashier, they give you no tasks to do. They just tell you sit there and you're not allowed to go on your phone because improper etiquette. But it's like, bro, if it's fucking dead and I'm just staring around with my thumb up my yeah, ass, that's like, what just I let did. me do something else. And then yeah. They didn't like it. So I was like, I don't care. Like, At Total Wine, it wasn't too bad because I did have other shit to do. Like, I, I found other shit to do, and it was one of those places where it was, like, they were figuring out stuff early on, like, how online orders and shit worked out. So it was, like, uh, I was the volunteer to figure out how to do curbside and everything. So I, as they initiated a lot of new stuff in the store, I was, like, okay, I'll figure it out. And then it's, like, oh, that worked. All right, just do what he did. So, okay. Yep. I, I basically learned every position at the store, too. And then, you know, when they refused to pay me more after I was promised more, it's just, I was like, all right, I'm fucking leaving then. That's fair. That's fair. Because I, I was getting up to the point where I'm essentially, all right, I'm like one of the managers now with all the work I do, but you don't pay me as much. Right. So they're giving you more shit to be responsible for with no more pay. And that's an issue with a lot of companies like that. Like, yep. even at, like, Publix, um... I'm currently a customer service staff member, which is like a cashier with extra steps. And they're giving us more responsibilities. Like they're cross training us to the deli department so that in case their people are short staffed, the customer services job now is to help them and take care of them. And none of us are getting promised any type of like compensation increase for it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of stupid. But, I mean, oh, in my case, I'm getting switched over to the seafood department, so I'm more learning how to fillet fish and uh, do cool shit like that. Oh, that's actually kind of cool, because then when you want, you'll have some of those skills for cooking at home and stuff. Dude, it's so much fun, because I already do cooking behind the thing. We do a steaming stuff, so ah. customers can ask for, like, shrimp, and we can just, like, season that bad boy with, like, Old Bay, and just go from there. It's so cool. I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. That's it's a cool. lot to learn, because I have to learn and study every fish and product that we have now but it's fun my first job though was at save a lot and I god i wanted to shoot myself working I remember. there uh you had plenty of interesting stories from that place oh yeah like the time that a guy flashed a gun at me when he was stealing steaks 
Yeah, like, really got over stakes. Like, no stakes must be hidden. My Dude, God. he stuffed them in the front of his sweatpants. And there were T-bones around the Super Bowl time. Oh, and yes. I, my manager was like, hey, Ball Dylan, stakes. stop him. Stop him at the uh, front door. Okay, hey, sir, can you take those stakes out of your pants? No. Proceeds to pull up his shirt, showing the handle of a Glock. You know what? Do you need some uh, barbecue sauce? Man, <laughs> shit, I'll go get some steak sauce from aisle two. I got you, bro. Like, you know? He's like, nah, yeah, man, appreciate you. Yep, don't, just don't shoot me. I literally do not get paid enough to do this. At Lowe's, uh, it was kind of like we didn't know who it was until, like, they headed out the door. And then there'd just be, like, three people, like, hey, uh, we know what you what you did. Like, And then they'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Good shot, Marcus. Thanks, and, man. And then they would proceed to just try and grab the freaking whatever they tried to stole. Fight back. Like, out of their pants. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Ooh. I'm like, the guy, the customer would look so nice, but he stole a drill. How did he shove that <laughs> down his pants? A full ass drill? Yes! <laughs> Out of the fucking box! Right. I think someone tried to take the, uh, That's like crazy. the, uh, you know, the show model of it. They tried to take that. I'm like, bro, that thing don't work. What do you mean? It's just the model. <laughs> yeah, people are kind of stupid because I don't know if you saw the footage that was going around like the internet maybe like a month ago. There was a guy who walked inside of a, like an Apple store and just started ripping off all the display models off of their stuff, like ripping them off the cable. And like everyone is like just staring at him because they know it's just the display models. Yeah. Like... And he just broke like a fuck ton of display models. <laughs> don't know what he's going to try to sell those for. Don't know if anyone's going to even try and buy them. The homie was just... I don't know. Yeah, people aren't too bright. No. Um, that's why they steal. Yeah. It, the stealing was a real problem over at Tola Wine. Oh, well, yeah, that's alcohol. You're going to get a lot of thieves. Yeah, and it was like the reoccurring things. The stupidest thing about a lot of that shit in retail is like, oh, you're not allowed to stop anybody. And yeah, it's, but they want you to at the same time. But no, we, we were specifically told to, like, don't. You got to fight the, the bird. Or, I don't know what that thing is called. Yeah, because we were literally told, like, don't, because um, they're liable for you. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, but at the same time, it's kind of like... Am I supposed to keep using yeah. this, or...? Yeah, you're, you're having a boss fight, basically, like a pseudo boss fight. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Pretty much. There you go. You got it. Yep. You got it. You got it. I man. think you can use the uh, Fury to slow down for this portion so that you can actually try to get more shots off on them. They'll circle back. There they are. Ah. Oh, oh, you're oh, but yeah, I, I, I'm a firm believer in like everyone should work either a food related job or 100% um, like tear, a retail you tear off the job. Gun. Oh, but I w doesn't it run out of ammo then? It does. It does. Yeah. But you could also just shoot it right now. Well, yeah, well, I was getting my health back. Can, can I, can I, can I, can no. I? No. Can, can I? No. Can I? Can no. I? Can I? No, you can't. <laughs> Please. No. See, you fucked up. <laughs> you could have still used it. It's right, right above right, you. All right, fuck Just, it. See, it's unlimited ammo. You missed your chance. <laughs> no. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up now. You're oh, fine. I didn't know they were going to board me. That, you shoot your friendly. <laughs> oh, my bad. They're the red. You shoot the red. They are blue. All right, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Hang on. <laughs> I got this. He's, Do right, you? he's right there. Where'd he go? Right there, mate. Right there. Right there. It is for your fucking shot. mate. You missed the fucking <laughs> oh shot. Oh my god, what are you missing? <laughs> Stop yelling at me! <laughs> we'll get better. Maybe I wouldn't yell. <laughs> the cold water is more refreshing. Shut up. Shut, <laughs> Shut up. I know what argument you're referencing. No. Oh, it is. It's more refreshing. A little to the mm. left. Above How do I fire the charge shot? Fire it, yeah, like that. Ah, there we go. Fire it like that, yeah, there you go. He's dropping in people, I think. He's gonna try to. No, he's he, he, Luckily, you got your boys behind you, basically providing you for support fire. Oh God, he's big. <laughs> Wait, he could you could have stunned him and got health back. Nah, it's fine. That sounds like quitter talk. Uh huh. Maybe quitter talk in a minute when you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that your impression of me? Yes. <laughs> is, that, is that what I think? You, is that what you think I do? <laughs> this is pretty good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's kind of more like, ah, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or more like, the controls don't work. I hate this. This sucks. My dad works at Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. 
Yep. There you go, buddy. You, you won the boss fight. Oh, I did. You're the gamer boy. Who wins? <gasps> you destroyed the I train. I did win. Congrats. Yippee. Yippee. Oh, wait. Well, Yippee! yeah, you destroyed the train already. Right? It's coming after you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> ran through the door. Who uses doors like normal? Oh, uh. yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, the Inquisitor. <gasps> Was Kool Aid Man actually just a space marine? Sure, man. <laughs> yeah. Sure. He was sure Blood was. Angels. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, he, oh, the Kool-Aid wasn't actually Kool-Aid. It's just fucking blood. <laughs> yeah, yes. the blood of his enemy. <laughs> yeah, um, all those kids that he ran through. Whoa, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Chris Tyson. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. You're, did you hear there's even, like, there's too many allegations against everybody. Everyone's Everyone. coming out the woodworks. Oh, he, look, he's been disarmed. <laughs> you proud of yourself? No. <laughs> yeah. I like how the servo skull is trying to get deliver a message, but you like, need some fucking ammo. <laughs> <gasps> I have returned. I have a message me, from feet. the emperor. Why are they skulls? Fuck if because I that's that metal as shit. I mean, that is like the design choice because it's metal as fuck. But I forget what the actual reason why they use uh, skulls for servos. Yeah, there's a lot of skulls on everything. Maybe a lot of... Uh, and, like, for for the side that's very clearly, like, fuck everything that's not human, there's a lot of dead humans in the technology. Yeah. I mean... One would say that they're influenced by Korn, who is the blood god, and the term for them, skull for the skull throne, blood for the blood god. Right. That's what I can think of, but... I don't know. Skulls have weird symbolism for, like, death. And 40k is, like, no different. So I'm not sure. Right. I thought that would be like their uh, psy like what psionic link, maybe. What the skull itself? Well, the skull is not the brain. No, but don't when they have like a connection to it though. Possibly, I think it's just straight up technology, and they're using a skull because it's the one most human thing. Because you know, if humans are the best, the human anatomy is then best too. That's true. So uh, that's what I think. Um, I don't know if there's any books that cover the reason why they choose skulls for servo, but. I can tell you about the most popular tank, the Land Raider, and the Land Cruiser, or sorry, not Cruiser, Speeder, next uh, time on the next episode. I, it's, mm. it's not, it's not time yet. Yeah, it is. No, because that's, that time, that timer, it's also included all the time where we were fucking around, we so didn't start. How many, how many oh. more so it's left? not time yet. We've oh. got like another five minutes. Oh, okay. Also, Devin, you gotten too far from your mic. I look to your levels. You're a quiet boy. Yeah, stop being quiet and sneaky. Stop putting your nose against the fucking mic. What? <laughs> What's wrong with it? Stop sticking your schnoz and shit. I'm smelling the chloroforms. Hey, man, did you tell me if this rag smells like chloroform? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now that he's on the bed, quick. <laughs> oh, God, no, help. Uh, please. Content. content. <laughs> And this is the uh, announcement of our Pornhub channel. Oh, yeah. We're going to start uploading to Pornhub. <laughs> it's just going to be gameplay footage. That's all it is. Yeah, it's just gameplay. We got to expand the gameplay. We're going to we're gonna take that Dragon Ball Fighter side quest episode of you beating my ass and bullying me, calling it <laughs> Broly Gets Pegged. Oh, no. <laughs> Broly Gets Pegged by Gogeta. Oh, oh fuck. It's too... No, I think in that one, you fought me with Majin Buu and just did the fucking Buu thrusting dance. Ha half Asian man gets fucked by fat pink man. Yep. <laughs> No, you get by not fat gum. So Gohan, oh yeah, because Gohan gets fucked up by Boo. Oh, he gets fucked up by androids too. True. Yeah. I don't know. Just Goku counted. Goku's not half. What? What is Goku? Because uh, he's uh, yeah, obviously he's a he's an alien. But like, what would he count as? He's a Saiyan. Just a Saiyan. Saiyan. Just a Saiyan. Yeah, because yeah, like aliens are their species basically in any other media. I guess so. He's not like he's not a half breed because like his mom and dad are both pure blood Saiyan, so he's like full blood. That's yeah. true. But Gohan is half blood. That's a lot of red orb, that, baby. <laughs> that's a lot of blood, baby. And then uh Ooh. what is it? Gohan's uh, daughter of Adele, uh, she's like what, third of a Saiyan? Uh, Adele is his wife. Uh no <laughs> Adele. Pan? Pan. 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 Um I believe <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right, so Whoops. Gohan's half. 
So half of a half. He's prob- she's probably a quarter then. She, she's she's a quarter Saiyan. Yeah. But there's a weird theory that the the more diluted your Saiyan blood is with human, you get the adaptability and potential of humans with the overall strength of Saiyans. That's why Go- Vegeta even considers Gohan like one of the strongest if he actually had a warrior spirit in him. Yeah. Yeah, because so. stuff in the manga was like, oh, yeah, Gohan's kicking ass. Is oh, what 100%. I heard. Yeah. He's, uh, he actually trains with... Piccolo and someone else, and they hold their own against uh, Goro pretty well. I heard he fought UI Goku in beast form. He did. Yeah. In the manga. Yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert, by the way, for anyone who's reading the manga and hasn't gotten that part yet. I, I haven't read it, and I'm just kind of like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I, I'm not going to say... Well, I can't spoil anything, because I don't know what happens. Uh, so there, there we go. One of my fucking homies spoiled Black Frieza for me when I was reading the manga. That's not cool. Yeah, like, literally, I was at the gym, and I was hitting arms, and he's like, yeah, man. It, it was it was Ryan. Oh, it was Ryan? And Ryan was memeing about fucking Black Frieza. I'm like, what are you talking about Black Frieza? And Michael's behind me doing, like, the neck cut thing, like, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm like, what do you mean Black Frieza? He's like, oh, uh, Frieza's black now, and he has a do-rag <laughs> and a fro. I was like, you're fucking lying, because <laughs> the way he was telling me sounded very convincing, and I was like... Just like, fuck with me. So I looked it up. I was like, Black Frieza. And then I see chapter spoilers. I was like, oh, man. Yeah. Which on me for looking it up. But I said, I'm like, you're fucking lying. It's a I meme. I think he shows like 5% of his power to uh, Gogeta and... Go- I mean, sorry, uh, Vegeta and Goku. Yeah. And then punches him out of like UI and... Uh, what was the, what was Vegeta's new form? It, it's it's a, a Ultra Ego. Yeah, Ultra Ego. Like, out of it. Stupid name. Yeah, and his forehead gets bigger. It's just Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Without the long hair and purple, I need he, he he literally loses his eyebrows like Super Saiyan three does. Why? Because Beerus doesn't have eyebrows. Ah, uh, and, and you could have called it something cool because it's like UI is Ultra, ultra instinct. instinct. So Did, why uh, can't it be something like Destroy or something? You know, Destroyer mode. Like uh, like Topo. I don't know. Like Topo had like the he has the potential of being a well he's the uh, the next he one is the one in line to become universe 10? 12? Yeah, 12, twelve whatever 12. Whatever one's uh I think it's twelve oh, become no. their god of destruction and they didn't call him ultra ego Topo they called him literally like god of destruction energy Topo yeah yeah so, so why not call Vegeta god of energy destruction Vegeta or just because he probably cool. didn't have like the maybe he wasn't like maybe certain training to get to that because he had like uh, a symbol like, and I'm sure this is not going to be the end of it now Goku has to find the Super Saiyan equivalent of Ultra Instinct no I don't want that I, I'm good I don't think they will you, yeah I 100% guarantee you they will they probably will Am I, okay so my issue with Dragon Ball right now is the fact that Super Saiyan used to be the form and then he only bust out Super Saiyan 3 for like very drastic situations they say, uh, cool then you get blue and the god stuff and now blue is the new current Super Saiyan form and we never see golden hair Goku anymore right and Ultra Instinct's now becoming that and it's like okay I cause I I could have swore I would you know every once in a while I look at a uh, thing or article that's the word of it and they were talking about I think I think they said Toriyama was saying like, yep, that's not the last form of Goku. He needs to get the Super Saiyan equivalent or something. So, no. Oh, but don't worry, man. He's going to do Kaioken times 20 Ultra Instinct Super Saiyan. Fucking. <laughs> well, see, that's the thing, right? Is we already had Kaioken blue. Blue. So now it has to be Super it's Saiyan 3 equivalent of Ultra Instinct with Kaioken. <laughs> Yeah. Man, uh, Dragon Ball is just a JRPG. He's just buff stacking. That's all he's fucking doing. You know they yep. didn't have that in the the manga. Because uh, uh, Super no, Saiyan, that was a, that was a Super Saiyan three technology. version of UI would just be like. This will be the end of the video, by the way. But yeah, it'll just be all those old memes of everyone inventing Super Saiyan one hundred. Yeah, and it's like all that's the literally what it will be. Uh, It'll be white hair with the long. It, that's, that's, no, it's gonna be. That's the, where uh, it's going. No, it's gonna go with the uh, the Kone Kids Next Door uh, episode when uh, number four turns into Super. Oh Saiyan. yeah, and 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 the uh, the delightful delinquents kid. from down the lane turn into a seven headed Frieza. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You never seen that episode? I've seen all of it. I just don't remember. Oh my now. god, it was so funny because there's just like the Timmy uh, channel tra- uh, chasers mm-hmm. where he's like going through different shows. It was just that, but it was Ko's name Kids Next Door. It was so good. I love that show. So good, bro. It's, it's so, so funny. Good. Also, just want to say before we end the episode, yeah, I still love about the fact that we went to go see 
the uh, the superhero movie and like for dragon ball yep and i remember your sister was straight up like gohan blanco gohan blanco my god they're just fucking memeing and the moment gohan goes beast mode everyone in the fucking audience went oh she's screaming <laughs> and we just looked at her like <laughs> you spoiled it but you didn't <laughs> Uh, all right anyway thank you everybody so much for watching uh you could like and or subscribe if you want to you don't have to i'm not the fucking boss of you but you know hey but if you like us enough it would really be appreciated yeah anyway bye 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 bye, -bye. Shut up. You shut up. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, guys. I'll fuck both of you if you shut up. Fine. Fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs>